How different is it today, knowing that, that you know your titles change, your roles change for this past week? What's it been like? Well, it's been really exciting, first of all. I mean, just to have this opportunity with this team, the culture that we've created, and the, the right. people that I've been able to learn from has been incredible. And I just truly appreciate the opportunity that Coach Sweeney's given me. You know, I've been here for seven full years now, um, and it's been an awesome ride. Just really excited about um, you know getting into this role and um, and then coaching up these kids. What part of the transition are you most excited about? You know, I think, you know, anytime I've been a coordinator before, so I've been a coordinator for six years, um, calling plays and, and, and that sort of thing. And I'm excited about calling plays. I'm excited about um, having that responsibility of managing, you know, the coaches and then off, obviously the offensive team too. So just those things are something that I've always loved doing. And, um, you know, I got a great group of staff guys that I'm able to work with. And, um, and then obviously our players are just so fun. I mean, just, just awesome, awesome character on our team. So it makes it even more fun for me. Did you have a sense that when other opportunities were presenting themselves for you to maybe go back to being an offensive coordinator somewhere and you continue to stay here, continue to stay here, did you have a sense that there was a time that this would happen? You know, I really did. You know, I felt like, um, you know, working with Tony and Jeff initially, um, was great. It was great experience for me coming from being a coordinator and just seeing how other people do it. And then, you know, just absorbing what they did. And then obviously, you know, with Coach Sweeney, being with Coach Sweeney for seven years, you know, he's such a loyal guy. I mean, he's incredible in how he not only hires, but just how loyal he is to people. And so, um, you know, I felt like it was coming for sure at some point, you know, it's, this is this place is this place is really, really hard to leave just because of the things I said earlier about the culture and the people. Dabo mentioned that you had turned down some other opportunities, including some NFL jobs. Did, did you have enough an opportunity to be an NFL coordinator recently? Um, uh, initially, that the job that job title changed as yeah. the interview process went on, but um, but yes, there was an opportunity in the NFL, and, and uh, you know was just excited about learning yeah. and getting some experience. Um, interviewing and also just uh, seeing what the NFL was like. I really had no idea. Right. I really didn't know, and I didn't really think about it being this early, um, you know, in my career at least. That you know that was something I hadn't thought about a whole right. lot. But it was great to just meet people, and I think that's what this business is about: is to try to, you know, make yourself better any way you can, whether that's through the interview process or just through uh, just meeting people. Yeah, you, you mentioned having a sense this might be coming, but not knowing exactly how long Tony might still be here or not be here. Did, did you ever get close to maybe taking one of those other opportunities? Um, you know, I, I just felt so comf confident and comfortable here, especially because of Tony and how he managed. Um, Tony is a guy that's just incredible, uh, one of the best coaches I've ever been around. And so I was constantly learning yeah. from him um, and, and from other coaches here as well. But, you know, I just felt like as long as I continued to learn, and, and it's not just about me, it's about family. It's about what the right thing is for my family. And so, um, so I just, yes, I, I definitely had some opportunities, which I'm sure a lot of us had opportunities because of the success we have. That, that's, that, that kind of comes with the territory, but, um, but never serious enough um, to say I'm ready to leave this place. Yeah. Which I imagine fundamentally this offense will look pretty similar to what we've gotten used to over the last four years, but how much do you intend to kind of put your own stamp on it? Yeah, um, first and foremost, like, like we said whenever Tony and Jeff took over seven years ago, it's not anybody's offenses but the Clemson offense, you know, and, and we truly believe that, and that's how we talk to the kids, the Clemson offense. This wasn't anybody else's name on it other than the whole entire staff putting their heads together and uh, creating a philosophy through our head coach who has been incredible with the process. And so, yes, it's gonna be, there's gonna be some similarities for sure, but like all of us, whenever you have a role like offensive coordinator, you're gonna have your twist to it and you're gonna wanna do things or emphasize things that might not have been emphasized in the past. Um, but like I said earlier, I mean, Tony was a great guy to learn from. And so I'm gonna take a lot from what he did and you know, I'll make it my own. You know, because I'm not Tony. I'm, I'm just going to be Brandon Streeter, and that's who I am. So uh, I'm excited about that opportunity. I know you were uh, you were up in the box during the uh, Ohio State game last year. Do you, you plan to be in the box for the bowl game? I do. Yes, that's the plan. Um, to be up in the box. Just feel like you can you can see it better. Uh, you can be a little bit more locked in. Not as many distractions up in the box. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that as well. That's how that's how I did it before. Whenever I was a coordinator too.
Debra mentioned with Wes, there was kind of a plan set up when you first got here. I guess what was the allure of coming back to Clemson and kind of, the, I guess, that plan that he talked to you about? Well, for me, I mean, it was seven years ago when I got to come back to Clemson, and just um, it was a no-brainer for me. Just being being able to come back to my alma mater um, was, was incredible. Um, you know, I was in FCS football for nine years um, previously and, and had a great experience there. And I uh, just felt like I wanted to get back to a place where I played and, um, and, and just at this level football again. And then just something that's, that's very unique. Um, maybe not for everybody, but it was unique for me to come back and coach my position that I played at this university. And, and it makes it really special for the guys, for me, to be able to coach those guys in the room and knowing that, hey, I was in their shoes at one time and I wasn't nearly as good as them, but hey, it was a, it was a, it's a fun opportunity. And you've had two head, you've been under two head coaches in 15 years, which doesn't seem, I mean, coaches moving all around. I guess, why is that important to you to stick with you know, one program, one coach for such a long time? Well, I would say loyalty first, you know. Um, two head coaches, you know, Danny Rocco was, was my head coach uh, when I worked for him at Liberty University and then at the University of Richmond and, and just had an unbelievable experience with him. Um, and when you believe in somebody, you know, it's hard to leave them. And, uh, and then when Coach Sweeney called, we had a, a prior relationship. And so, you know, it, it made it, an easy process for me just because of that relationship and then obviously because of the alma mater. Coach, um, obviously with Tyson's departure, um, Hunter Helms is, is just one play away from being the quarterback. Uh, how has he looked throughout the course of the season? He hasn't gotten a lot of game reps, but he had a pretty good camp in August, didn't he? He did. He really did. Um, you know, with Hunter, you know, he is a kid that really understands the big picture. And with any backup quarterback, the message to them is you have to prepare like you're the starter. Same thing with Billy Wiles. Billy Wiles has come on very, very strong, and there's a good little competition right now with, with Hunter and Billy, and uh, they're they're making each other better. There's no question about it. So, um, you know, with just three guys right now, it's an opportunity for both of them to get a lot of reps. And then as a, as a quarterback's coach, I'm looking for consistency. You know, how consistent can you be with your decision-making? And, um, and, and that allows me to have trust in that person. So. Those are the two things, and they both have done a really, really good job. Obviously, Hunter has been here a year longer, um, so he understands that offense maybe just a little bit more, but, um, but Billy's coming on really strong too. And then Kate.